So I recently toured what's considered to be the most touristy places in the state of Michoacan, Mexico. I went through Uruapan, Pátzcuaro, and Morelia. And I believe this is a great excursion to take if you're looking for a place to vacation. And with that said, I wanted to share a little bit about the three cities and the three hotels, which I consider to be timeless. Hey folks, this is Andy, and you've tuned into my channel named The Timeless Travel Club, where I tour Mexico to help people like you who are looking for places to vacation, places to work remotely, or even places to retire in Mexico. So join along and let's tour Michoacan, Mexico. So yes, there are other places that you can see in Michoacan. There is the volcano, which I did not make to the top. The video is posted here. There's Hanitzio. There's the migration of the butterflies. There's the city of Cheran that I posted a video for. Link also above. But I'll start with the city of Uruapa, where I shot zero video of. Aside from the Paricutan volcano and the national park, it was also the Hotel Mansion de Capatizio, where I fell in love. The grounds of this hotel, which is located directly next door to the national park, is incredibly beautiful. Full disclosure here, I accidentally kind of accidentally reformatted the SD card of my camera, which had all of the footage from inside of my room for you all. But, hmm. Between the beautiful swimming pool, which was next to the outdoor restaurant, which was next to the outdoor bar, and the songbirds in wooden cages. What an ambiance. Oh, and the mezcal margaritas were smashing. I didn't expect, and I was pleasantly surprised as to how many people on their staff spoke English. A couple at the front desk, a couple of waiters, and a bartender spoke very good English. I would use this hotel again. All this for about $71 on average per night. Can you believe this road is part of the original Royal Road built by the Spaniards that connects all their old churches? Although now it no longer runs through the town of Pátzcuaro where so much history is found. Before doing anything in Pátzcuaro, make sure to take a two and a half hour walking tour given by a man named Jaime Hernández Balderas. His information can be found below and with him I learned Pátzcuaro has two main plazas about a city block apart. Both very beautiful but originally one was for the rich, the other was for the rest, like me. It is the only main city plaza in Mexico that does not have a church on it. But in Pátzcuaro, yes, there are churches, beautiful churches, some built in the 1500s. Pátzcuaro is full of hidden gems and murals. There's an intersection called Siete Esquinas, or in English, Seven Corners, which has zero traffic signs. It's amazing how there are no accidents here. This was a town that I enjoyed walking. And be sure to visit the restaurant Casa Leal for great food and views from the terrace on the main plaza. Let me pause by saying, and this is profound, my hotel in Pátzcuaro ranks in my top three list during my travels in Mexico. Not the top 10, not the top five, top three. This is the hotel Casa Encantada, which was once 
part of the monastery where the Spanish nuns lived. Today it's a quaint hotel with peaceful patios, with fountains, plants, and artwork to be enjoyed. The room was simple, comfortable, and peaceful since you are off from the main street noise. But my favorite part was the free breakfast. We're not talking bagels and toast here, folks. Full buffet, and when there's low occupancy, you can order from the menu. The food and the service was great. And if you're a fan of Café de Olla, this is one of the best I've had. Did I mention it was free? Mireya and Luis run a tight but a very accommodating ship that checks all the boxes. The security is great, they have full control over the drivers, and they run a cat and dog spade program from the souvenir revenue made at the hotel. But one of my favorite things, small but favorite things about this hotel, is every time I asked to break a 500, a 500, they did it happily every time that is extremely rare in Mexico, anywhere in Mexico. Morelia is a place I go when I want the big city feel. With the beauty, architecture, plazas, and that church, the beautiful pink stone cathedral of Morelia, which I can gaze at all day long and often do. Morelia is a place that I really don't care to take excursions from. I enjoy staying in town to enjoy the food, the entertainment, which can be enjoyed all day long. My hotel, the Hotel Casino, sits right in front of everything. I have made it to hotel number three in the city of Morelia during my uh, three city trip to the state of Michoacan. It's uh, quite a contrast. It's very different from the quaint little boutique style of uh, Airbnb slash hotels that I've been in, which I truly love. This is, uh, it's quaint, it's very small. Uh, let me show you around. But this here is what they call Le Game Changer. You would think the room would be very noisy since it faces the street, but once you close the double doors, it definitely does its job. While the windows are open, I would say one complaint is it seems that about every five minutes there's an ambulance screaming down the road. But I understand it's an easy access road even though it is the tourist road, and the hospital is about two miles down on this road. The front desk at the hotel casino, the people there are great. The restaurant in the hotel, slow. The people at the front door, the greeters, not very welcoming. But for the price, I would go back but there are so many great options, so many other great options in Morelia to choose from. 
I'd give this hotel a B. For $64 a night, yeah, it's doable. If you have made it to the end of this video, thank you so much and go ahead, give yourself a like and we will see you on the flip side.